Six Providence's DPW director says National Grid won't be allowed to cut into any more roads in the city because they haven't fixed the ones that they've already dug up. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado talked with city councilor about the problem and she joins us now live in studio. Steph? City of Providence is cracking down on National Grid for not properly repairing city streets after they did that work on gas lines. Tonight the utility company tells us they're working on it. This is everywhere. City Councilman Michael Correa has been sounding the alarm about these temporary patches on roads and sidewalks in Providence left behind by National Grid after they cut into the street to work on gas lines. You end up with potholes, you end up with sinkholes, you end up with uh, trip hazards. State law requires utility companies to make permanent repairs, restoring roadways to the same or better condition as before. But Correa says the temporary patches are being left on the road for months. With snow coming uh, this evening, uh, it's rough on our uh, city vehicles as well as our vendors. Uh, plow trucks. The city of Providence has stopped issuing new permits to National Grid because of the failure to make repairs with the exception of emergencies. A National Grid spokesperson said in part quote, we did experience some delays this year in repairing roadways and sidewalks. However, those issues have since been resolved and we are working with the city to have the remaining patches permanently restored by mid December. As winter approaches, we recognize the city's urgency to have these areas addressed and we are doing everything possible to get to them. And the city says there are about $56,000 worth of repairs for National Grid to make. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.